Hello guys, welcome to a vlog. It has been literally so long since I picked up the camera, like we're talking three months. Oh boy. A lot's been going on, but I'm gonna leave that all for like a big old updates video, so we're not gonna mention anything. This, as you can tell from the title, is gonna be our Virgin Cruise vlog. We're currently on a massive ship. We have never done a cruise before and we were very kindly invited to give this one a go and so far so good. Like it is day one technically, but we arrived yesterday. Not gonna lie, we both kind of said the same thing. Like we got on the ship and it was so overwhelming. Mm, there was a lot going on. <laughs> I think we were overwhelmed more so the fact that our start of our day was at 1.30 in the morning. Yeah, true. Traveling down to Stansted to then get the flight across to Athens which is about three hours so it wasn't too bad to then be greeted by this big old city on water I know. and they are literally like welcome aboard like off you go yeah. and we're like it was crazy where do we go like I didn't know what the right thing to do was we went and got food first but even like the food hall is massive there's so yeah. many options so I think yeah like combined about three hours sleep we were literally like what is going on yeah we were a little bit well <laughs> we both also kind of get seasick so we were literally just standing still and trying to figure out if we were going to get seasick or not but <laughs> that side of things has actually been fine like last night we went and watched a show and we were literally swaying like there was a massive chandelier in the middle mm -hmm. and it was like this like it kind of the only way I can describe it is when it does get a bit rocky it feels like you're on a tube like in London mm, if you're kind of just trying to stay upright like you kind of take little steps but it's really not that bad like if you feel like you get seasick don't let that put you off we are doing the greek island glow tour i believe that's what it's called i'll leave all the details down below and i think i've also got a link that will get you guys a massive massive deal like a massive saving on the cruise itself when you book it and then you also get like um i think a cabin allowance which means you get money to spend on board as well but we are in santorini this morning we left athens at like 6 p.m last night it's really weird because we love city hopping like looking for things to do and now this is like our ideal more yeah. than anything you go to bed and wake up somewhere else and yeah, someone, someone else someone's has done, done all the travel, travel for you you get you miss all the travel part which is quite nice the weirdest thing about last night was we were sat in the lower decks eating dinner and we were almost at the level of where the sea was so you could see in this big like circle window just water going straight past you <laughs> which was very peculiar we're bringing you guys with into santorini today i'll show you breakfast and stuff and update you along the way so we are sat at breakfast in the galley which is where like they have loads of different restaurants they have like a taco bar behind me got a panini bar down there and then they've got little sections where you can just like pick things up from. So Brad has got a Mento baby box, um, which they do like sushi in the day. And the sushi looks unreal, we haven't had it yet, but it looks so good. And these are just kind of like grab and go things. There's also like the cookies thing, I think it's called. And you can just like grab some snacks on the way out. So yeah, Brad's got a little granola box and then he's gone to like a bagel bar. Yeah. Bagel, which looks good. Cheese, salmon, avocado, lemon, nice. and a whole grain. Not getting butter. Yeah, it's on the bagel. Yeah, that's gonna be the avocado. Avocado will be my butter. So we got coffees from the coffee station. They usually give you really few little like glass cups, um, which you can just refill. But we've got like two I think they thought we were going out on our tenders and we've got some takeaway cups but I am currently waiting on a full English breakfast. You can kind of order from the table and it's really cute because they have the menus here and you like raise this <laughs> if you need someone to come and serve you and then they'll come over and take your order. So yeah, we are just sat looking at the view, literally looking at Santorini up on this cliff. We're trying to work out how not how we get there because obviously we get a tender like across to the bottom here but there's basically a cable car that takes you to the top and they have said that the cable car wait times for coming back to the ship can be as much as two hours so you kind of need to plan because as much as i'd love to get stuck in santorina for like we don't need to do that on our first day. Creatures are fully within their right life. If you're not back, you're not back. They can't just wait around for one person. So, yeah, we're going to figure it out over our breakfast. And I will catch up with you guys a little bit later when we have like, some more things to show you. I might give you like a mini tour of the ship when we go back out. Mini? <laughs> well, yeah, I'll try and keep it as brief as I can. My breakfast has arrived. It's really good. I've got butter, by the way. We could have had some of that. 
we have just really quickly popped back to the room because we've decided that we are going to head over to Santorini and just rent a quad bike. A lot of people say to go to like Oya, Aya, however you pronounce it, um, which is obviously like the iconic little town in Santorini with all the white buildings, the bloom roofs, which looks amazing. But I have also seen the other side of it of like everybody that gets off a cruise ship goes there. Everybody that's in Santorini goes there. So I feel like it's just very hectic and we kind of just want to explore and like do our own thing so we can then just go where we want do what we want at whatever time um and yeah just have a bit of an explore we can go to the beaches and stuff so that is the plan but i am currently wearing this little dress which is very cute from nakd but not good for a quad bike so i'm gonna get some shorts um and then we're gonna go downstairs to the like guest relations and see if we can get an early attender to get over there now i thought i'd just give you a real quick scan of the room because it has now been made up so it looks a little bit neater in here but this is our little cabin they obviously have bigger cabins smaller cabins i think this is one of the best rooms they have so it's really nice to be staying in here and then we also have the little deck out here or a little balcony with the red hammock this is the comfiest thing ever and then i didn't show you this this morning but this is our gorgeous gorgeous view like how insane i'm actually not sure what this island is over here but yeah this is the little balcony that you get as well and that is the bedroom i'll just really quickly show you the bathroom as well this might be a little bit of a mess oh no it's kind of neat so yeah the bathroom is like perfect size to be fair obviously everything is quite small but it is pretty much the perfect size that you need like it doesn't feel that cramped considering it looks a little bit smaller um and that is it we have a little wardrobe here and a cupboard here as well i have actually unpacked for the first time ever life jackets in case we hear seven short horn sounds and then one long one <laughs> obviously learn a lot um yeah bikinis and stuff press pants um and a little full-length mirror here so that is the room but like i say i'm gonna get changed now and we will see you when we're on our way to santorini i'm changed brad has got his drone and we are about to head down so i thought i would show you our way um and all the like cabins i guess they're wings i don't really know quarters quarters something like that something like that we've also taken some quails because we've been watching the tenders out the window and they're like this yeah so i will be sick <laughs> wish us luck this is the way out of our room i'm hoping that nobody's here right these are the corridors and how long they go on for we have little wristbands as well which you can like pay for things on and they're also obviously the key to your room this is our room in case anyone stays and gets the same room and then you head out here and then you can basically like turn left and go down all the stairs and also towards the middle of the ship but then they have so many lifts um and then you can obviously go to each floor i won't lie sometimes at busy times these do take a while to arrive but that one was quite quick <laughs> So we are currently walking through the ship to get to On The Rocks, which I think is one of the bars, but it's where we get the tenders from. And this is the casino. So we basically have these like, they're called Rockstar level bands. We don't have to wait for the tender. We don't have to like book on, which usually you would have to, which is quite good. So we are currently just waiting in the Pink Agave restaurant, which is actually where we ate last night. And the food was really, really nice. It's like Mexican um, and the whole setting was amazing. These were the windows that Brad was talking about last night. Like you could see the view just going past, which is really cool. We have also just been given two compress you tickets for the cable car to like go up and come back down so i'm gonna jump on the boat and then figure out when we actually get over to the island Basically to summarize, we got off the ship or got off the like little tender and there's a queue to get the cable cars up to Santorini's like old town or just Santorini itself. And the queue was like so long. So we decided to walk and there's like 600 steps, which is fine, but it was very warm. 
um, and I'm not gonna lie along the way they have so many like horses like donkeys and mules that carry some people up and it's not the nicest thing to see so I didn't love that like first impressions I feel like we kind of got off the ship we were really excited to get here and then we got here and I was like mm. I really don't like anything that's going on right now we were yelled at because everyone thought that we were trying to skip the queue to get to the cable car which we weren't so yeah it was a bit weird when we first kind of got here and then the town was just so so busy we literally have just gone to little and picked up like a baguette some ham cheese apples cookies and we're gonna go to the red beach which is on the south of the island and by that i mean it's like 20 minutes the opposite direction so we're gonna go and do that and just have like a nice chill day the weather is so nice when you look at the map on santorini it looks like a big island and then when you get to here you can actually look and see the other side of the island yeah. it looks like a five minute journey it's tiny so yeah that is where we're now off to we rented this car from a little place in town um i can't remember what it's called it was called Auto For You. It was literally just a walk up, just slightly out of the town. Um, and the guy was really helpful, so yeah. We got a mini smart car, which has a convertible roof. Oh my <laughs> God. That's sun. Oh. It's so bright. It's so bright. Right, we're gonna head to the beach. And we'll see you guys there. We've got our books. Don't have a towel, but we're literally just gonna sit and chill, read our books and have some lunch. Away from the busyness because that was a lot. That was too much, wasn't it? Like a lot. You've got to think like there's so many cruise ships like docked here and everyone gets off and everyone wants to do the same things and like see Santorini so total change of plan again. Um we are at a beach but we're not at the red beach because we basically went there and I searched on like TikTok and stuff how you get there because I know there's a little walk and this guy was like oh the walk is fine like it takes about seven minutes if you're a beginner like hiker you can definitely do it it was treacherous like as in the rocks apparently what happened they had an earthquake so, yeah. six years ago and it fell down like part, part of, of the cliff. yeah part of the cliff came down so it's just made the walk quite intense and like, we saw this couple with their little baby and I just warned them I was like just to let you know that like, we've literally walked there and walked straight back because it was just not enjoyable we're being pelted with little pebbles that were picked up in the wind like Santorini and Mykonos all Greek islands really are very windy but that was just like unenjoyable so we basically just got back in the car and we are now at a little beach the guy recommended it to us though that we rented the car from we are lent up against this little capsized abandoned boat and we've got our picnic in here we're literally just gonna sit and have some bread then we bought some meats and stuff and some cookies there are beach beds over here which i'm assuming you can just pay for and like obviously spend the whole day here but this beach is lovely the sand is also like gray so it's very hot volcanic, volcanic that's why i don't know about santorini at the moment it's gray, isn't it? what would you give it out of ten uh three i don't know that's generally how i feel which i feel so bad Beautiful saying place. But lovely to drive around but it just feels like we've kind of gone to things that we've heard of meant to be good and they've not been obviously the walk up here wasn't great the cable card you have to wait for so yeah i think we've just not had the best agenda like our day has not gone to plan which is fine but as i thought so far <laughs> probably tell from the lighting it is currently sunset and it's just stunning we are luckily in this port that we're in at the moment we are like the sun side so this is my current view from the room which is just stunning i kind of want to sit out on the hammock but it is very windy across these islands so it's actually not as warm as you might think but she looks pretty you can see all the little islands going around there as well and then some of the other side around here too so yeah that is my current view brad has just headed to the gym i'm actually yet to try out the gym 
I kind of just haven't really been feeling it this whole holiday. So I have personally gone for snacks over the gym today. I picked up some of these quickies things, which I think I told you about earlier. You can get them from the galley, which is like the main kind of diner. And I've got a turkey and cheese sandwich. And then I've also got a chocolate mousse. And then we picked these up, obviously, for our picnic earlier. So I've also got some cookies. I have moved our table reservation for this evening back an hour because i'm really hungry now but i also want to eat a yummy dinner this evening as well there's just so much good food on this cruise like i'm really trying to fit it all in and try everything we went and saw a show last night which was unbelievable like there was loads of circus acts going on like they were literally launching each other in the air it was amazing um so i'm hoping there's something similar on this evening there's always something going on like live music in the bars there's always something to do i've also got my pjs on from a pretty little thing they're really cute they have a little asymmetric detail and they have the same on the back which i have no idea how i'm gonna show you but i'm gonna try they basically have like a little keyhole detail can we see this potentially you can see that i'm not really sure but i think they're cute just me and my cabin brad has been loving the gym by the way um apparently it's very good it just gets a little bit busy sometimes but most of the people that are in there are all the like entertainment actors just working out in between their shifts so yeah, he is loving it other than that. And I'm loving this cute and cosy little cabin with this gorgeous sunset to sit and watch. How unreal. Definitely another pinchy moment being here. I feel like I have so many of those, but this is crazy to be able to experience my first cruise with a brown night virgin. So yeah, thanks to you guys. I also remembered I had my corona from last night. We went and got pizza at like 1am and I didn't drink my drink, so I'm having that as well. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd just kind of give my overall thoughts on Santorini because I was really, really shocked. I think it just kind of got off on a bit of a bad foot. Like, I didn't love the donkey thing. Um, it was really, really hard to, like, see and walk past them. And it's just not nice, basically. Yeah, I don't love that it's, like, used as an option and is one of very few options. But I think that's where I was just already a bit like, mm, I don't really love this place. Um... But I'm so glad we rented a car because we literally spent the rest of the day just driving around the island. But I would like to like fly in and stay here, um, obviously to avoid like the having to get up to the town from the ports and stuff. But yeah, I think I would like give it another shot, but it's not been, I've not been wowed by it. I think a lot of the things that you see online where it's like Instagram versus reality, I do feel like are quite true so just my personal thoughts i think it's a beautiful island the people that we've met here have been super super friendly so it's nothing against anything like that it's just that's my thoughts basically so i hope that might be helpful i mean i would say it is a place to come and see like i would love to at some point in my life have been able to see all of the greek islands there's so many little like hidden treasures that i really want to see as well so i'm going to finish eating this and i will chat to you guys a bit later maybe when brad is back from the gym and i figured out our plans for the rest of the evening we have just had a delivery trying out for room service for the first time and it comes in a very very weird package i think it's just to help people um walk with it down the alleys whoa it's all stacked up an afternoon tea of food cokes wine beer <laughs> You've got wine as well i've got dessert and a start dessert well. and yeah. stars. <laughs> that's a three course meal oh my god um I did say that we were going to figure out the rest of our plans, but I've just freshly washed my hair, got in pyjamas, and we're going to have a night in. Yeah. I went to the galley and got some food, which looks really good. Aye, indeed. I went for a, um, a quick run at the gym, the cardio uh, part, and it was dead. There was literally no one in there. I was the only one running. It was nice. I watched sunset um, whilst I was running. It was really, really beautiful. Um, and I got a PB as well, so it's great. But yeah, we're just gonna have a relaxation uh, evening. I've got a salad, um, it's got a three course meal. <laughs> <laughs> and I've got some fruit as well for dessert. We had a lovely day today. Um, it has been jam packed. We went to all sorts of places around the island. I don't think it's very hard to really go around the island okay. itself because it's very small. We just did quite a lot, which is good fun. Um, looking forward to tomorrow. I think we're gonna go and see Sophie and her partner, Brim. Uh, I think we're going to spend the day with them, go and try and find some locations. Where are we going so off to? So short for this. Uh, we're in Rhodes tomorrow. Rhodes tomorrow. Also, I did completely forget to mention, but Sophie is a girl that I've followed for so long on Instagram. 
we've like chatted back and forth for ages um her instagram handle is so thick fitness i'll leave it linked down below but she's the loveliest girl ever and the weirdest coincidence in the world her auntie works with my dad but also then so weird like we were both getting out our taxis at the same time at the front of the cruise when we first arrived and i was like sophie like jumped on her i was like this is so weird like, it could have literally been anyone that we were here with it happened to be those guys so yeah we're gonna spend tomorrow with them we've got dinner with them on wednesday um and they're just lovely people so we're gonna chill um and enjoy our foods and then we'll pick up the camera tomorrow morning we mm. may even try and do sunrise i would like to try and do sunrise because i think it's about seven ish and then yeah We'll see you then. Em wants, to em wants to show you the food. <laughs> I think this is my pasta. This is really hot. Oh my god, these are my meatballs. This meatballs. Is my, this is a starter. That's a starter. That is a starter. Lovely. So I have meatballs. Starter. And then my main. Whoa, oh. that looks lovely. Raggy. Very nice. And then oh. a red velvet cookie thing. Very nice. It looks really fun. And then my many drinks, one of them is yours. Got Corona. Look at this. What wine is this? It's seven young cab. Six but sevens. I have no idea. I don't know what it is. Oh, it's a French wine. Look at these. Cute salt and peppers. Aww. Cute. Wow. And some, so and some diet cakes. All right. Happy? So happy. This is unreal. Lovely job. Good morning. It is day four of the cruise three of the cruise and we are in Rhodes and we've just come to this beach club which is really cute we literally just hired a car off the boat like it was like a five minute walk and we're in this beach club called Tulum which is really gorgeous we're here with the guys <laughs> we have just got some ice lattes we've got a decaf ice latte brad's got an almond latte it's very warm today like very very warm we are literally just planning on sitting and chilling on this beach all day the food here looks really nice we just wanted to drive out of it because there is some beach clubs that are like a five minute drive from the port but we thought we'd grab a car um it was only 50 euros and we're just gonna like go and see the island a little bit after I'll probably grab some lunch um, but we've got to be back on the ship by half five today so we actually don't have too long in roads. I kind of love these parasols. I keep trying to figure out how we can get one home to the garden that Some we don't even have yet. One. You, you can have to do one for us. Nan could probably nip me one of these, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to sit and drink water. my ice latte and Brad is going to take you to the water. Mm. Right, I'm going to show you the water because it's so clear. off to go and see what is in the ocean the guys are in the sea playing what do you actually call that bracket ball that's what i call it bye this is what i'm doing having a corona and i'm actually really getting into my book this one i literally do not read so with everyone talking about this i know they've spoken about it ages ago but i finally got around to buying it and i'm trying to get into it and i'm actually finding it quite interesting so far all right guys we have ordered some lunch emily has gone for a mozzarella salad and we're going to share some uh, burger sliders they look good and i have gone for some gyros i have I had a little nibble just to try it out but all good so far emily got also a mojito i got a diet coke because i'm driving and the guys food has just arrived we have been here since around about half past 10. it's now three o'clock so we're gonna probably eat this up and start thinking about heading back uh, around about maybe 4 4 30 to take the car back and jump back straight on the ship <laughs> How is it? Muy bien! Lights out, I'm your favorite Too many ways, been in your place, there's delays 
lighted up the signs, it was on the table. Driving and vibing from the be later. Wanna make it bigger, just a little bit of. They were showing up to my space, I'm a fashion dealer. I'm your biggest bitter, meet me in the middle. I just don't wanna settle. Under these lucid dreams, I'm not just a visionary. It's all making sense to me, not a basic and no Feeling my own inner shot. Just being honest, there's no difference. I'm all just okay. since I last vlogged but we are now in Mykonos. We're in a Hippie Fish which is a really gorgeous little beach club that I've been to before. I just kind of wanted to come somewhere that I knew was good um, so we could have like a proper chill day off the ship. Yesterday was an at sea day so we literally have not left the ship for over 48 hours now because we actually didn't get off in Bodrum. Um, I came on so to be perfectly honest I just had a pretty rundown day we literally like napped all day on and off and then we went out in the evening and yeah it was a really nice day but i just didn't really pick up the camera um so i thought i'd keep you much more updated today in mykonos we also docked here overnight so it's quite nice because we don't really have like a curfew to get back for um we can be here all day we're gonna have dinner here we got off at the old port and we kind of walked all the way through the town so i could see it i have been here before with the girls it was one of my favorite holidays ever um I love this moss. I love this island so much. So I wanted to bring Brad back here for like a week or two. We obviously just have the day today. So we're going to go back to Old Town this evening to have some dinner to then also see the rest of it as well. Um, but we just got a taxi straight here and we are literally just chilling. I am still reading my book. And I'm actually thoroughly enjoying it. I'm on page 105, which is like literally unheard of for me. Um, Brad has just been in the sea. We've got some water at the minute. We're going to order some drinks. And yeah, just have a really nice chill day. This is my current view. So you pay for all of the sunbeds and these ones at the back are 60 for two and then the ones at the front are 80 for two. And it's just gorge, such a nice setting. The food here is really good as well. You obviously have the restaurant like up here. So I'll show you guys that later. Um, but yeah, this is what today is looking like. We've got some food. We've kind of just gone for a little snack because it's just gone midday and then we're gonna eat in the restaurant later but we have some burrata which looks unreal and homemade pizza breads and dos cerveza even though we're not in the swimming room Greece. two beers <laughs> happy <laughs> back on the boat again we got the tender over about an hour ago and we have just literally got back in time for the perfect sunset like the sunsets in Mykonos anyway are incredible most of the time like the skies are completely clear and you can just watch the sun go down but this is like on another level it never comes across as well on camera but you can fully see the sun and I'm just watching this go down until it goes behind that island over there. But Brad has just headed to the gym. I have just sorted my Instagram post for this evening. Um, and then we're gonna head back into Mykonos for some dinner a little bit later on. I'm just gonna jump in the shower, wash my hair and sort myself out. And then, yeah, head in for some food. But I just love it here. Like I forget how much I love Mykonos as an island. Obviously I gave you my thoughts on Santorini and I do feel like I would 
recommend this place over Santorini because I think most people see it as like the party island and then like Santorini is like the romantic kind of island which I do get like I feel like Santorini is just much more chill but then you can still come to Mykonos and like not party at all like if that's not your kind of scene there's so many other things you can do here yes it is quite pricey like the beach clubs and stuff are quite a lot of money but the quality of everything like me and brad were saying today you do kind of get what you pay for obviously some things are extortionate like some of the hotels but it is like amazing food everything's super fresh like i don't know i personally think it's worth it so yeah loving being back in mykonos i will bring you guys back into mykonos this evening for some dinner i have a restaurant in mind but we walked past it earlier and it looks very closed so I'm not really sure if they're open. The lighting is horrific. I feel like all you can see is my teeth at the minute. We literally had them whitened so long ago, but they're still very white. Um, we are now out and about. We've just got off of the tender and we are walking to, I'm about to get run over. We are walking to Old Town and I think we're gonna go to an Italian restaurant called Agio Rio, which again, I came with with the girls. Um, and it was really really good food and a really cute setting so we're gonna head into Old Town walk around the little streets again like we did earlier and see it at night but I think we're first gonna go to Little Venice which is like all the little bars on the water and have a drink and watch the world go by for a bit because I don't feel crazy hungry right now mm -hmm. we have eaten quite a lot over the last two weeks two weeks <laughs> I think we're getting to the point where we're gonna burst yeah We've had literally two weeks of all-inclusive, which I'm not complaining about, but I think I'm like just about up to here with food now. Um, so yeah, we're going to head for a drink and then get some pasta and pizza. Ways is top of the year. Lately, we've been real unsure and clear. Is it just me? Where do you go when you disappear? Tell me your secrets, you got my ear. Room to assume is the music is super loud in here, but we have our pizzas, we've got some wine, we've got some padron peppers. I have got a prosciutto pizza, which has got figs and honey on it, and it looks incredible. And Brad has got a mortadella pizza. Happy? Was it? I told you, if you guys have watched the Ibiza vlog, you'll know that I had a run-in with a patch of pepper and I didn't know that they could be spicy and you can literally get the odd one that is like, yeah, but it's not just like, oh that was a bit spicy, it's literally like, so bad, like it doesn't stop. I'm, now I'm scared, I literally just said I'm frightened to eat these now because of that. Quite nice. Fine. Does it go waves off pretty quick? Mine didn't. I've honestly never experienced anything like that when I meet them. It was bad. Hello, we're lost in Mykonos. We have just eaten. <laughs> Just eating dinner at Emily's recommendation. She's been there before. Incredible pizza, I must say. And we are just strolling through the streets of Mykonos. Uh, we bought an ice cream and got crepe. It's uh, nearly midnight and it's actually not as cool as I thought it would be. <laughs> it's still so warm. It's still so, so warm. It's also still very busy, hence why the camera work is not the best right now. Sorry, yeah, it's quite bumpy here. Probably need some seasickness tablets to watch this. Um, but we have now just come at the port. So we are now with this. First to spot the boat. Spotted it. Where is it? Oh, there it is. It hasn't moved its position. Oh, God, it's not focusing very well. Hello. Hello. There we go. Sorry, boat. That has moved. Uh, has it? Yeah, nope. it was way round. That's now this side. This is Mykonos. This is Emily's face. <laughs> We're just gonna stroll around and head back to the cruise. Jump back on the boat. Any more comments? Um, dinner was really yum. We had some nice chats and some nice wine. Dinner was very yum. Favorite thing to do when we're away. Wine and chats. And now we're heading home. Yes. For our floating home. Floating home. Peace out. Give me a moment to be sincere. Feeling this way since top of the year. Lately we've 